In his remarks, the governor of Castina State, Diko Umar Rada, urged the minister to revoke licenses of operators that refuse to develop or commence projects and investigate instances and investigate instances of operators parading dubious letters of consent from host communities. He further lauded the minister's efforts in repositioning the mining sector while expressing the state's readiness to, to partner with the federal government to harness its mineral resources for the benefit of the state and the nation. For the country now to focus attention on the solid minerals because Nigeria has suffered on that and uh, this is an area in which uh, the country can uh, rejuvenate its economy and makes life better for the citizens. And I think uh, we want to assure you that as a government, we we'll support all your initiatives to harness this sector and to make it viable and for our economy to prosper. In his response, the Minister of Solid Mineral Development, Oladele Alake, explained that the federal government places premium on Katsina in its plans for the development of the mining sector because of the large deposits of viable minerals. He therefore urged states to seek approval of the federal government before making policy pronouncements on mining activities. Uh, I'm proposing a retreat with all the governors to resolve areas of misunderstanding and conflict and misperception. For instance, we've had from several states governors making policy pronouncements on the solid mineral sector, which is not ideal. The solid mineral sector, as of today, belongs exclusively to the exclusive list of the Constitution which means it is only the federal government that can make pronouncements. The minister further rules out that the federal government is set to hold a retreat that will address gray areas in order to address the challenges facing the mining industry. Oluwatoi Oyedola reporting for BTV News.